today in the galley, you can see I've got moved along pretty good. I decided, you know, I really wanted to make sure I used these knots. Those are awesome. It's kind of bare over here. I know I got a knot there, but I decided I want to, and I'd already hung the door. I decided I want that colorful knot on this side. So, um, pretty much got a nice dark knot there, and dark knot here, dark knot there. A little bit of a knot there. So, after I pull the door loose, pretty much what I'll need to do is see. That's it. Okay. You can see here where the hinges were. What I did was I got, um, I'm gonna knock those screws off on the floor and have to hone down like a dog. Okay. So, give me a little piece of. On my piece of paper, I got a little bit of glue here to deal, deal with my situation. And what I want to do is I want to fill those holes up. So I'll take my little skewer, and it doesn't need much glue. And just put it in there and put that little tiny skewer in there or a little tiny dowel rod. Leaving the, the uh, these barbecue skewers are much cheaper than those little tiny dowel rods. Tap it in there and when you break it off don't get too wild with it because you could when it's drilled that close to the wood to the veneer you could break that veneer so what you might want to do is if you're unfamiliar and you're not sure you can go ahead and put that see, get you a little piece break a little piece off and then just uh, let's see, just tap it in there. A short piece, so you don't have to worry about breaking it off. Oops. Look at that; that hole's really tight. Let's try it on. I'll get back with my point one. Okay, so take your short piece and drop it in there. And then tap it down a little bit. When you get close, you can nip it off. Tap it some more. And you got a really nice, it's filled with wood and it's gonna be a pretty close match. A little glue in there. Tap it in. We don't really need to fill them all, to completely fill the void up, say it's drilled all the way down to here. It doesn't need to be filled all the way to there. We just get you at least a, maybe three sixteenths of an inch of wood in there. So you get, in case you decide you really need to sand a lot of it, then you're not going to sand through. And you just snap that off and tap it a couple more times. And then just sand that. No, no knock it down too far, but just enough. And then you sand it and put some polyurethane over it, then you'll be just fine. Like on that last hole, that one hole that was uh, a little difficult. Because it was, uh, I drilled it out, but I never ran a screw in it because I wasn't pleased with the way it looked. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going to stop screwing right there. a little bit of glue on there. Right in that hole. And then and nip it off. Take your time doing that. So when you get done, you don't have any real issues. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reset the hinges on that. <clears throat> and you see how it's got a little bit better picture that way with the knots kind of spread out. And I love those knots. Really nice knot hole at the top of the galley.
thanks for watching. Hang in there because I got more videos to come. I still got probably another 20 hours to finish this trailer up.